Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here. Welcome back to Dice Life TV, and we're back for another Song of Blades and Heroes Battle Report. So let's take a look at our Lizard Man team real quick. This is who Laura will be playing. Over here is her leader. This is a, uh, in D&D, &D, this is a black scale lizard. Uh, he's just basically a big old brute. He's got toughness in this game. She's got a Lizard Man warrior right here next. Uh, this little grayish guy is going to be the injured lizard man. He's kind of gray skinned and sickly. And then finally over here we've got uh, her two snipers. Uh, they will be represented by these hand axes that they will be throwing. And uh, this is the lizard man team and it's 275 points. So let's look at the team that I'll be playing here. My leader is a human cavalry on a horse. If that looks familiar, that's Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. But he's just going to be a human cavalry in this game. We've got the group Brute, which is basically a uh, minotaur warrior back there. I gave him, I customized him and gave him long shot. So we just kind of imagine that he uh, pulls big rocks out of the ground and throws them, or he has a big bag of rocks. Up front here, we got a dwarven crossbow man. Uh, right next to it, we've got a uh, barbarian. Back here, we have an elven wizard, uh, which I'll talk about in just a second. And then over here, to because this is a unbalanced game, uh, we've got three hunters over here, which kind of makes sense because of the uh, woodsy type scenario. And these guys are just basically labor men. They're going to be carrying any bridges that are constructed. But this is built um, from an older list that we had. We are going to make the correction here because we're really trying to get the rules tightened up as far as you're not supposed to have a wizard and a leader. Uh, technically, those are both personalities. Personally, in all of the games that we've ever done, we've always had a leader and a wizard, and it doesn't seem to make any difference. But we're just going to tighten things up. Uh, we're going to eliminate the wizards and leadership from now on. You can't have both of them. Uh, but overall, this is a 350-point team, which definitely is bigger than the 275. Um, we're going to see how this all plays out, and uh, let's get the game going. Let's take a look at our board here. This is Bridging the Gap from the uh, Warhammer Mordeheim conversion book that I'm always talking about. It's in the files section, guys, if you need it. It's a great book, um, although it does need a little bit of work um, and clarification on some scenarios, so you kind of got to fill in the blanks and kind of figure it out yourself. But anyways, uh, it's called Filling the Gap, uh, Bridging the Gap, I should say. The attackers are going to have 350 points. The defenders are only going to have 275. The attackers are going to start at this side, and their job is to get across this river and off the board on the other edge. Now the spring um, melt, if you want to call it that, has raised the river level up. So this is a deep river right here, so we'll be using all those rules for that. You'll see in game, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. But the adventurers are trying to meet up with a larger group, uh, which is about to participate in some sort of battle. So they have to pass through this territory right here, which happens to be Lizardmen territory. They've got to actually build uh, some bridges. Uh, we've got some gory tokens here that we can put out for dead lizard men. But they can build a couple different kinds of bridges. And you'll see it in the game. Um, they have to come over here to these wood piles and harvest the wood and build the bridges. Um, you can spend time building better bridges or um, faster bridges. And it all affects on uh, how you get across the river. So it should be pretty interesting. Now in the rules it says if you have a river that you have to either have a bridge or a ford. It doesn't say how you have to use it. Now we have our ford right here. And what I did to make it even more difficult because essentially the entire scenario could be the whole group comes over here and goes up that way which is like a bottleneck scenario and just crosses the ford. Well, we made it a bit more difficult, as you'll see in the game. Um, you have to roll quality to get across the ford, and then you have to climb that wall right there to get up and out of here, and that's the only way to pass through. So we really did that to encourage the bridge building aspect of it. Uh, 
And to make things real quick, uh, this is two quality rolls to get through right there. If you build a crappy bridge, it's one quality roll to cross it because this is rushing water here. And if you spend your time, uh, which can be deadly, and build a really good quality uh, bridge, there's no quality check to get across. Then it's all a matter of getting off the board to the other side. The defenders continue to rack up points as long as one model is living. And if the attackers get off the opposite side of the, uh, the battle of uh, the field over there, they get points in equal to their model value. So let's get to the battle. All right, I'm joined here with Laura as usual to see who is the Lizardman and who is the Bridge Builders. She's got a four. I got a five, and I think I'm going to choose to be the bridge builders. We're going to roll for initiative. Let's get it on. You got two, four, and I will be going first. Okay, so I'm going to start with the barbarian. He needs twos. Gets all three of them. The barbarian will just move up to this wood pile right there. With the minotaur, he needs twos as well. Minotaur is going to move up. Start working. Dwarf crossbow man. He needs twos. Okay. He moves short, so he will move up to there. Well, Elf wizard has an amazing quality of two. All she needs is, well, anything above one. Uh, she gets two of them. She's going to move up to the pile. So we'll start right here. Uh, this dude needs, uh, he needs threes because of the leader. No, he's going to turn over. He'll get one move. All right. He will move right up there into the pile, and now we're going to go over to the lizard man. I'm going to activate my um, lizard sniper. Okay. I need twos. I'm going to move him right over here. Activate the, my other lizard sniper. I just need to have twos. I'm going to move him to a little bit of higher ground here. Get my lizard man war warrior. I need twos. And he's going to move up here. I'm going to activate my injured lizard <laughs> the man. The sick, sickly injured one, yeah. And since he's next to the leader, he needs threes. Okay. And your injured one, he moves short, so he can only go to about right there. I activate my um, leader, I just need threes. Nice. Ready? I'm going to bring my lizard Okay, right so here. she brings him all the way up into the water. Now, we use uh, the advanced rule. Uh, for this, when you're in the water with Amphibious, you have stealth. So I can't shoot at her leader. Because I was like, oh, you're going to bring your leader all the way up. And she reminded me she has stealth in the water. And we are to move over to turn two. So I have my crew down here. And they are going to try to build the bridge. So my main model is going to be the Barbarian. And then each one of these other ones is going to be an assisting model. That will drop. Um, that will add one for each model to my total. I need six activations total. Let's see. If I roll a three, if I roll three successes right now, I can build the bridge. So the, we had to double check that. Uh, I was within range of my leader. I only needed twos for the barbarian, so I had three successes. Four, five, six. And just like that, that helps us build a crappy bridge. So what we're going to do here is uh, just put everybody on top of the bridge right now. So we, uh, it's done by group activation. It's just going to be easier to move the bridge. Than all right, I'm going to activate my dwarf crossbow man. He needs twos, and he gets all three. Dwarf crossbow man is going to come up to about right there. My human cavalry leader here. He's going to need threes. Uh, he gets two of them. So my leader is going to move right up to here just kind of to be able to give everybody the leadership bonus. We still got two flunkies back here. And I should have gave a group activation over here. I need fours with this guy right here. Uh, he gets all three of them. All right. The human hunter makes it all the way up there to defend. Last human hunter right here needs fours. He gets two of them. Last human hunter is going to go right to there, and uh, that's going to wrap up my turn. Before we go on here, uh, Laura actually gets 10 points. Why? Because all you have to do is have models at the beginning of each turn alive, and you get 10 points. My lizard sw um, sniper. Yep. And I have to have twos. 
Got all three. My sniper into the water as well. We're we'll doing aim shot. At who? My sniper? Yes. Okay. A four, and I have a combat of three, a seven. Dang. Okay, seven. I got minus one. And all right. So he gets three and plus three is six, minus one is five, and what'd you get on the dice? Four. You won that and you take down, you knock my uh, crossbow dwarf to the ground. I'm gonna activate my other sniper. Okay, up here on the hill, yep. Yep, What's and then you need to have threes. Okay, no leadership bonus. He gets all three. Move my sniper into oh the water and okay. he's gonna take an aim shot of No, you because that's two moves right there. You can just do a regular shot at my crossbow man that's down. Oh great, go for it. I have five plus three is eight. Okay. Five plus three is eight. Uh you don't get plus two because I'm down, only in melee. Goodbye. That's a dead dwarf crossbow man. I'm going to activate my lizard man. I need to have four though. Okay. Dang. I'm going to move him into the water. I activate the injured lizard man and uh -huh. he has to have four. Drag himself up here. He gets two of them. Move him right there. Okay. So here's what she's doing. She's trying to block the way up here. I still can throw the bridge across. It doesn't matter. But I can't really target her while she's in the river. And we're about to start moving forward. The minotaur is going to get off. He's actually letting go of the bridge and he's going to come over here and kind of take a defensive position. We're going to activate this hunter up here. Uh, he needs threes. Gets both of them. He's going to move up here and take the minotaur's spot. This hunter right here, he needs threes. Gets both of them. He's going to move up here. Activate my human cavalry leader. He needs threes. Uh, he gets all of them. He's going to drop back here because being out in the open is kind of dangerous. And then he's going to give a group activation command to this group right here. I have to use the lo lowest quality in this group, which is the hunter. And that's a four, but the leader's right here. So I need threes. I'm going with all of these. And I get all three of them. So these four move the bridge all the way up to there. On the second activation, uh, they are going to try to throw the bridge across. I got to roll a d6. If I roll a 1, the bridge is actually destroyed and I have to build another one. No, the bridge goes across. Sweet. And we have a bridge across the river. We also don't want to forget, since it came back to me, um, we start the next round and Laura gets another 10 points. I my um, sniper. Okay. And I just need to have threes. No, actually twos because it's next to the leader. So I got all three. I'm going to put him around the bridge. Oh, okay. And he's going to power shot. Aim shot? Aim shot that one. All right, go for it. Oh, oh one wow. plus what? Four, three is four. Okay. She's got a combat of uh, two. She gets a seven. She totally dodges your hatchet. I'm going to activate this sniper. Okay. All I need is twos. I have all three. Aim shot. Okay, toward my wizard. Got nine. Jeez. Okay, she got uh, six. Uh, you won that, and it drops her to the ground. So she was just dodging this one, and then you threw a hatchet from over here and hit her in the side. Um, the he, warrior? Yes. Okay. He needs um, twos. You're gonna move over and attack her when she's yes. down. So you get plus two on this. Four. And plus three is seven, eight, nine. Nine, geez. Elf wizard has seven. Uh, that's gonna kill her. Um, the lizard. The injured one? Yep. Okay. And I have to have threes. Okay. I'm gonna move him in there. Give it my leader. I need threes. Let's turn it over. over. Top of the fourth round. The third round, sorry. Laura gets another 10 points, so she's at 30 points right now. I'm going to activate my leader because I've got to get him up here uh, where he can start doing some control. He needs threes. Gets both of them. I'm just going to move him up to about right here. So everybody is in his range. 
activate this hunter right here. <laughs> it needs threes. Uh, gets one of them. This hunter is going to take a shot at this lizard man right there. Go for it. One <laughs> plus. Four. You got four. Come on. I got a combat of one. Great. Uh, that's five. Um, I win that and knock you down. I'm going to activate this next hunter right here who sees that lizard man go down. Um, he's going to need threes. No! It's a turnover! I'm going to activate my sniper and all I need is twos to okay. get him up. He's up and he's going to shoot. Okay. He's gonna so you're going to take a shot at the hunter that shot yeah. you down? Three plus three is six. Okay. My hunter is two plus one is three. You got a six. Oh, killed that hunter. Okay, I'm going to activate my sniper. Okay, that and one. And I have yep. to have twos. Okay. And then you're going to take a shot at this dude? This one right here. Yep, okay, let's do it. Six. Okay, hunter. Uh, <laughs> he has four. Uh, you win that, and you just knock him back an inch. Which I think he's okay with that. I'm going to activate my lizard man. I just need to have the warrior. yep. warriors choose two activations. I'm going to go up and fight him. Okay. I have Jeez. eight. Killing all my little minions off. Uh, he got... That's a hunter. He got five. Uh, you knock him to the ground. I activate my injured warrior man. I just need to have threes. Got two activations. Move him up here to combat. You're gonna get in combat with my barbarian? Nice. Yep. Okay, cool. I didn't realize you were gonna do this. Three plus three is six. Okay. Uh, you got six. You got a barbarian. Oh my god. Dude, my barbarian got four. <laughs> Would you roll three? I knocked him back an inch. Uh, did you want to follow up? How does that work? Because I have tail Oh, okay. Yeah, you have tail slap. So roll that. On a five or a six, you actually knocked the barbarian to the ground with your tail. Nope, so you did knock him back just an inch. Do you want to follow up? No. I'm going to activate the, my leader, mm -hmm. and I need to have threes. Two activation. Lead every daring here and go all, all the way over here and punch him with the club. Punch him with the club, okay. Go for it. A two. Plus four is six. Okay, well, he doesn't have big. That means I get plus one against you. Oh my god, dude. One plus four. I got four. I got five. What did you get? Six. All right, so you won that and knocked knocked him to the ground. Because I rolled the stinking one. I'm activating the barbarian because he is not having this. He needs twos. Jeez, he gets two of them. All right, Barbarian is, yeah, he's just going to run up here and he's going to attack. Go for it. Six. Okay. Come on, Barbarian. I need you. I got seven. So I win that and knock him to the ground. But he's got toughness, so I don't think he's worried. I'm going to activate my leader. We might as well get crazy. My leader needs threes. I'm going with all three dice. He gets all three of them. My leader is going to come over here and attack. He'll get plus two, and then he'll get plus one because you're non-mounted, so he's got plus three. Go for it. Four plus four is eight. Um, and you have an extra guy on here, so you have uh, seven. I got six. Plus three is nine, ten, eleven. Um, that is going to be, uh, that's going to deliver one point of damage to you. Uh, this flunky right here, uh, he still gets the leadership bonus, so he's going to need threes. Gets one of them and he stands up. We'll do this one right here. Um, going all in, he needs threes. Uh, he turns over, but he gets one of them, and he'll move up into combat right there. Wow, this is going very strangely. 
colossal mistake on my part. I didn't even see because I've got a set of trees here in front of me. My minotaur is down. I activate my leader and get him up. Okay. He's a quality of three. So he gets two of them. So he's going to use one to stand up? Yep, and the other one to go after the leader. Okay. A six Jeez. plus four is ten. Wow, okay. Oh, I got a six plus four is ten plus one because you're not mounted. Eleven, that's me, and your leader goes down. Ooh. Actually, yeah, as Laura pointed out, I had another guy here. Her combat should have been one down, but no matter what, your leader's down. I'm going to activate my injured war uh, wizard man. He wizard just man. threes. Okay. Two of them. Up here to the barbarian? Yes. Okay. And he's going to fight him. <laughs> Kill him. He might. Eight. <laughs> Jeez, you're killing it. All right, uh, barbarian gets a six plus three is nine. And uh, he's going to knock your injured dude no. to the ground. Shouldn't have came up on me like this. Blizzard man warrior. Oh, okay. Yep. He's got two dudes on him. Mm-hmm. All I need is threes. So I got two of them. Yep. Red. You're power attacking? Yes. Okay. Six. Six, uh, but you're outnumbered, so that drops it down by one, so that's five. And then you did a power attack on me, so that drops me down by one. Oh, dude, that's like three sixes in a row. Uh, he gets seven, so he wins that and knocks your dude to the ground. Look at all these lizard men on the ground. This one. Okay. This one's got threes. I got two of them. Move up, and I'm going to attack him. Okay. Come with it. My hunter's ready. Oh boy, two. I believe that, two, four, six, that is a gruesome kill on this hunter. That ain't cool. We have a gruesome kill here, so it's represented by that little pile. We gotta start making some morale checks. This dude right here, uh, quality of crappy. Well, let's see if he gets the leadership. Yeah, he does get the leadership, so threes. He fails two of them. So he is going to, luckily he's not in combat here with, he's in combat with that guy, um, not with that one. So he is going to move, to move all the way back here. All right, let's go to the Barbarian. Barbarian needs twos. Uh, he gets all three of them, he's fine. The leader needs threes. He fails two of them, crap. Bye -bye. So the leader turns around and rides all the way back to here as well. It's a good thing he doesn't have long moves because he's custom built. Um, no free hacks or anything because these guys are down. So as Laura pointed out, the Barbarian is fearless, so it doesn't matter, but he made all his successes anyways. I'm going to activate my sniper. Okay. I need threes. Jeez. Got all three. I'm going to shoot the leader. Oh, she's going to take a shot down here at my leader. Um, all right, that's going to be a minus two penalty. Minus two. You got four. Mm -hmm. Leader got four. Plus four. Leader's got eight. He's fine. Back to me. Laura gets another ten points. She is at fifty points right now. I'm at zero. And we've got a pretty jacked up situation going on here. All I got to do is try to get to the other side of the board. That's all I'm trying to do here. Okay, so we're going to start with the Minotaur. He needs threes. He gets both of them. He is going to stand up. And he is going to attack the leader. Uh, go for it. You're outnumbered by one. So your combat drops down by one. <gasps> Zero. What's your combat? Four. So you got four. Uh, the Minotaur. Come on, baby. What's his combat? He's got... Jeez. Uh, he's got uh, three plus one plus two is five. Uh, that is one more uh, hit point taken away from you. Okay, so her leader is at six quality right now. On seven, he is dead. I'm going to activate the Barbarian. Maybe we can kill her leader right here. He needs threes. Are you freaking serious? He just turned over, dude. A two and a one. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to get up my leader. I okay. have to have threes. Jeez, I blew it right there. Uh, you got two of them? Mm-hmm. 
All right, so you're gonna get up. You're outnumbered here in combat. You're gonna do something. Her quality got raised up to six. Um, she only gets one activation, and she just gets to stand up. I'm gonna activate my injured lizard, and yeah, I have to have three. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's two activations. So you're gonna stand up. Yep, and he's going to attack that barbarian. Ooh. Okay. Brave little things. Three, three, six. Okay. Barbarian gets a six, plus three is nine, um, and that is going to knock him right back to the ground. I'm going to activate my lizard man and get him up. Okay. And I need to have a quality of threes. <gasps> Just one, and I turned over. Okay, but you do get up. Mm -hmm. And it's the top of the turn, so you get another ten points here at sixty. I'm gonna move my, activate my leader. He needs uh, threes. He gets one of them. So I'm just gonna move up to about right there to be able to buff everybody. Uh, we will go to the Minotaur. Um, the Minotaur needs threes. I'm going with all three dice. Yeah, power attack on your leader and you're outnumbered. Yeah, minus two, go. Six Dang! Plus four is 10, minus two is eight. You got eight, all right, come on. Dude. You got eight, I got four, which would have killed him, but I got plus one because I'm big. So that's five, but it's going to knock my Minotaur to the ground. What a crap roll that was. Activating my Barbarian. Uh, he needs twos, I'm going with all three of them. Yeah, he gets all three of them. Power attack, let's go. Minus one to your combat. Two there we go. plus four. Six, six, minus one. Five. All right, you got five. Come on, Barbarian, do this. Three plus three is six. Um, uh, it's just gonna knock him back an inch, and no, I don't think I'm gonna follow up. Another blown opportunity here by rolling a one uh, several times, but we're gonna activate the Flunky down here. He gets the leadership bonus, he needs threes. Oh, and look what he does. This dude is gonna take a chance. And he is triple moving all the way up to there. And he is gonna head for the Ford. My lizard sniper. This dude, right here in front of the mm -hmm. corpse. Okay, go. What do you need? I need three. Come on, turn over. <gasps> that is a turnover. Yes, it is. I'm gonna take a shot at the leader. Oh, you're gonna throw an ax at me, huh? All right. Yes. A two plus Three is five. Five, okay. Um, leader has four plus three is seven, plus one is eight. I'm fine. Got to do the smart thing here. Well, to start with, Laura gets 10 points. So she is at 70. I got to get some miniatures across this board. All I got to do is get across that board, across that bridge right there. But we got to activate uh, the, min the uh, minotaur here. Okay, the minotaur needs twos. Gets all three of them. He's gonna stand up. He's going to move up to the boss and he's gonna take a swing. Go for it. A three plus four is seven. Seven. He gets a six. Uh, plus uh, three is nine. Plus one for being big is 10. You go down. Okay, I'm gonna activate my barbarian. What about being outnumbered? Your your dude's down. He's prone. All right, I'm gonna activate my barbarian. My barbarian needs twos. Gets all three of them. He's going to move up and do a power attack. Go for it. Eight. Eight minus one because of the power attack, so you got seven. Uh, barbarian. Dude, oh, come on, dude. Barbarian gets four, uh, and then the plus two, which is six, and what'd you get? Seven. She wins that combat, and my bear knocks my barbarian down. Gotta take a chance here. Uh, human leader needs threes. Uh, he gets two of them. He's gonna make it. He is going to move over to here. And he is going to take a swing on your leader. Probably last chance. Go for it. 
Okay, now you are outnumbered by one. So four and four is eight. You got seven. My leader got a six. Uh, plus four is ten. Plus two is twelve. Plus one, because I mounted, is thirteen. <laughs> Holy crap, killed your leader. So uh, we're going to start morale check for this dude right here. Now it says if you're in contact with an enemy model, um, that's pretty bad news, but it doesn't say what happens if that enemy model is prone. So we're just going to play this out. Go ahead, roll uh, three quality checks. Three dice. Go for it. What's his, what's his quality? Fours. What'd you get? Uh, wow, he braves it out, the injured dude. Let's go to the bridge guy. Sniper. They have to have threes. That's one. two failures. This dude, Laura, you gotta move him. He's gotta move toward the closest board edge. He jumps into the water and swims downstream that way. All right, let's go to uh, the warrior right here. Three. Okay. One failure. So her warrior runs to about right here. Let's go to the next sniper. Do you need threes? Wow, two failures. He is going to go down to here. Well, Miss Honest over here pointed out that I only moved the warrior one time uh, to there. So he is actually a little bit further down here. You know what? I'll give you some space since you were honest. <laughs> All right. And that's where we're at. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Holy cow. I'm going to activate him. Uh... He needs fours. He gets two of them. Okay, so he's going to make it up to the Ford here. He's trying to cross that. He's got to make a quality check. I know he's going to go down. He needs a four. Ah, oh, he gets a six. So he makes it across the Ford all the way to the wall. Nice. Next round, he's got to climb up that wall. My injured warrior, I want to get him up before he's slattered. So I need fours. He I two got of them. two of them. Can I get him up? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to attack the... The downed barbarian? Yep. Probably a good move. Uh, two plus three is five. Okay. Come on, barbarian. Um, barbarian... Uh, plus two, though. So the barbarian, uh, you had seven. Uh, that's going to kill the barbarian. Warrior man down there. Okay. Yep, right here. What's he need? Warrior and you grace. Get two of them. All right, so I'll move since you're kind of far away. You wanted to be up here by the bridge? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, the sniper? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to activate my sniper. I need threes. I have two. So she's going to try to actually chase this dude down. This is just kind of a fun little side thing. Yeah, this dude's so down here. I'm going to activate my other sniper. I need threes. I need two of them. Two. So what are you going to do? Go in combat and fight your leader. Okay, you're going to come up to my leader. Gutsy. Oh boy, that's bad. <laughs> Two plus three is five. Five? Okay. Leader uh, has three. Um, plus four is seven. Plus one is eight. So that is going to knock you back into the water. I've got to make something happen here. Uh, I'm going to activate the Minotaur. He needs twos. He gets all three of them. Alright, so the Minotaur is going to use his three moves to swing out here wide enough, one, and then two, not passing by this guy, and then he is going to make it all the way up to here. My leader is gonna go, he needs threes, gets all three of them. My leader is gonna do the same technique, going all the way around and then bypassing this guy, but he's only gonna make it to right there. A human hunter down here who just made it across the ford, luckily. Uh, he needs fours. He gets two of them. First action, he's going to try to climb up this uh, rock face right here. Got to make a quality check. He needs a four. Nope. Second one. Gets a five. Climbs the rock face. And he makes it up to there. And since it came back to me, Laura gets another ten points. That, she is at 80 points right now. She's activating the sniper right here, okay. Need fours? Threes. 
Oh, it's a oh, turnover. Oh, it's a turnover. Torts following him. Okay, what's he move? Medium? Mm -hmm. Alright, so this dude is going to move up to there. But she turned over, which could be a real game changer. Oh boy. I'm going to activate the Minotaur up there. He needs twos. Gets all three of them. He's going to get off the board. So he is worth, let's see, he's worth 70 points. So I got 70. She's got 80. All right, my leader. He needs threes. He gets all three of them. And measuring it out. Go ahead. My leader is going to make it all the way off the board because he had three successful activations. Um, he is worth 82 points. I think I might have just took the game right there with that one turnover. Yeah, it's 150 to 80. All right, we would end the game right now because I don't think there's any way she can win. But the rules on the thing say one, the game ends after all everybody's off the board. So, um, yeah, my dude right there, he needs fours, uh, he turns over. All right, Laura's going to concede, right? Yep. Because even if she uses all the turns to get over here and try to get this guy, it's not going to make a difference as far as points or anything else. She did, like I told her, she did a very good job on holding me. I thought it was a really bad move bringing your leader over here the way you did, but uh, turned out you kicked some butt doing that. And uh, I just happened to get those guys across. So that's the game. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. See ya. Bye.